Robert Brony is Al Knight, it is Brony time, and welcome to our first part of our playthrough of Papa's Hot Dog Garia. Now this is uh, a browser game, it's on Facebook, but the rest of the games are going to play, there's a lot of these games, as you can see down here, are going to be on the Flipline website. So, let's just go right in Hot Dog Garia. This is kind of a restaurant simulation, you know, cute little flash game, I have played it before, so this isn't a blind playthrough of anything. Uh, I haven't played through the entire game. I really don't know if there's an entire game in story. I'm curious as to if there is. So let's go ahead and start up a new game. Um, of course, we can choose a worker, create a custom worker. We're gonna create a custom worker. Um, his eye is gonna have some eyebrows. What the frick is that? Um, that was weird. So let's do that. Uh, yeah, sure. Do you want any extras? No, we don't want any extras. All right, let's just call this guy Al Knight. All right. So here's the intro. I've actually never seen this. So Al Knight season tickets. Griller Stadium opening day today. Uh, hey. Uh, customers that we're all gonna soon get to know. Sold out. Wow. Now hiring the best seats in the house, Hot Dog Gary. Wow. Oh, so he thinks he's gonna... Um, the next day. So, we're gonna apply as a worker. So, yay, we got it. Bye, Papa. What? What did you think it was gonna be? All right, so day one. Here we go. Day one. Uh, the tomatoes are playing the. I have no idea. Oh gosh, little lag there. Yes, I know what this is. So we're gonna take her order. So she wants a hot dog with something with mustard and a small fizz and a small popcorn. All right, so. Of course, I've done through this whole tutorial a million times. Yes, I know. It'll tell me when it cooks. Pretty much already knew that. So, basically, when it gets yellow, it means you're done and you should put the hot dog over. She's cooking when the time is green area of the dial. So basically, as you can see, 55, this hot dog is done cooking. I always like going for these, so yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go to the build station, and of course, what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna, whoosh, and mustard. Alright, so next. Once again, I already did. It's kind of annoying now that I've done it. Of course, it's just our little mini tutorial of whatever. So we're gonna flip that and we're gonna pass it on. And of course, you're going to get graded on how well you did in each area. So we got a 97% in the grill, which means we didn't cook it perfectly. Well, at least to her. But as long as we get over an 80 service quality, we're fine. So. What do you want? Alright. And of course, it's going to take a few days to get into the swing of things, and it's going to actually be really hard at the beginning because we don't have a doorbell, which is our first upgrade we need to get. Of course, the first day, all the cookings are sped up, just so like you can get through the first day and really get into the game. So as you can see, it's yellow. And what we're also going to need, we're really going to need, is um, the alarm, so when the hot dogs are not cooking, like, hey, the hot dogs are done cooking. It's time to, uh... Of course, you want to wait till it's both are yellow. So now we're going to pass this on. Of course, always check the order station, but of course, this is the first day. This is our only customer. Oh, there are going to be a lot more customers, I guarantee you. There are going to be a lot more customers. 
So yeah, so we go small fizz, small soda. I'm just gonna call it soda because fizz sounds ridiculous. But I guess that's the purpose of the game. Yeah, as you can see, just a little restaurant simulation. It's really fun, and you can decorate your lobby. It's it's the whole shebang. All right, so that's the end of the first day. So it looks like the home team won. So of course, at the end of the day, you get graded overall, 99% service quality. And of course, you're in customer points, which determines your rank. And depending on your rank is how much money you earn. So we'll earn five more dollars every time we rank up. And there's also this little mini game shows where you can like win stuff for. Boom! Of course, the first time is easy. So usually I only do one of these mini games per day because you, I really want to get through these days because I don't want to bore you guys. So as you can see, these are total the total amount of money we have. And of course we need to go one more day to get the doorbell. So let's go. Oh shoot, I should switch my clothes. Each day you get like a new customer, you can get new item menus, see we got a bun. Alright, so they're playing the same team. Tomatoes against the Who's the What's it? I'm not sure if dressing helps you in any way. I'm really not sure if it really does. So of course, here's our first order. So the first day I might not be very good at it because, well... While you're waiting the hot dog to cook, you get the drink and popcorn ready by click. Oh, I never thought of that! I never thought of that. thought of that. Alright, here. We're gonna take this guy's order. Technically, it's gonna depend on how well that works out. So, we have their pop stuff and ready. Oh yeah, keep checking. Always check. So of course now we're in the green area, but we need to wait till it's at least 50-50 on both sides. Or the customer is going to be too happy with the finished product. So let's shove this on our bun. And go to our build session and just start with putting a little ketchup on his hot dog and then go back to the grill station. Alright, so is there anyone here to order? Yes, there is. But of course I need to... So here we go. Once that turns it, yep, we're done. And of course, that is going to be the sheet. Wait a minute. I think it's the Chicago one. No! I did it in the wrong order. Freaking again. I do that. I need to remember these tickets. Anytime I'm on video, I do terrible at this game for some unknown god reason. So, let's just shove this thing. Oh, here's another customer. Aw, oh, closers. Now, closers are tougher in the grading um, area. They're very picky eaters. We all hate those picky eaters, don't we? Aggravating. So, of course, I did the wrong freaking ticket for some reason. I'm an idiot, that's why. Let's go to the grill station. Alright, this one's ready to be flipped. So, we can just send this through. Medium fizzle, medium popcorn, and whoosh, we're done. Did I give it to the wrong person? No, I didn't. Good! Oh! Guess I'm not doing that anymore, because apparently that pisses them off. Wait, where's... Where's ticket number one? Where's... Oh, there it is! I was like, where is it? Alright, oh god! Just shove this on a Chicago bun. God dang it! Trash it. Trash it. Don't care. Trash it. That was my bad. So mustard. Okay, that was a little too much mustard on that side. Don't spill it. Or we got to really go grade. So medium. Small popcorn. Alright, dang it. Wrong thing. Okay, it looks like we're still kind of... Alright. Wait a minute. 
split. Is this medium and small? I hope that I hope I did the right thing, guys. I hope that's right. She's pissed off. She had to wait so long. Well, F you. 71% rating on wait time. What do you expect me to do? All right. This is almost done. There we go. Shove it on the Chicago bun. All right. So this is a pretty simple order. All right. Next. Small popcorn. People with a photographic memory, I think, will definitely be better at this game. They just, like, they'll be able to memorize the ticket so they won't have to look at it. Alright, Roy. Hot dog warm up. Basically, you're in achievements, they just give you extra money. It's not that impressive. Dang it, I spilled something. I'm supposed to be the master at this game. Actually, I've, I've never even made it to day 50, so I guess I couldn't be considered a master at the game. Boosters will also be really helpful in the future. I can't wait till we, we get earn enough money to buy boosters. Alright, this is the closer's meal. She's probably going to be pissed. Huh. Well, we didn't completely piss her off, which is a good thing. That's a really good thing if you don't piss her off. So waiting... Uh, nah, that's fine. As long as it's over at 80, I could care less what the service body is. See, now we're a trainee. We're ranked 2. So we get 105 instead of... So, yeah, here we go. So let's see if we can't win anything. By the way, we won't earn this till like way later in the game, so I don't understand why they're free. There we go. So we want a coconut poster. We're not gonna play it again. So we're gonna visit the shop. We're gonna purchase this doorbell, which is going to be essential. And then the next thing we'll need to get is the hot dog alarm, which is 150. So let's go put on our new hat because who doesn't like a new hat? Um, basically, it's just a little tutorial on how to decorate your thing. Done. So continue. We got a new customer, Scooter. We got onions. All right. Day three. All right, here comes our first customer of the day. We're going to take his order. Her order. Sorry. <laughs> Just Scooter. I don't know why. Maybe because I secretly brainwashed by society and I don't even know it. Now we can just sit here and look at our hot dog cooking. We don't have to worry. But we really need $150 in tips. Because that is going to be essential. So basically, now that we have the door, see? New customer. So take her order. Chicago bun, hot dog, mustard, cheese, onions, a medium soda, and a small popcorn. Alright. Chef her thing on the grill. By the way, guys. One mistake I made early on when I was first playing this game is I waited so freaking long. I waited till all the hot dogs started cooking to start dishing them out. So it led me to get like really low freaking scores in um the thing. So yeah, don't do that. Alright, so they're both Chicago buns. Alright, take this next person's order. By the way, I'm very organized with my tickets if I remember that they're there. I remember that they're there, I do good. If I don't, well, I'm screwed. So, shove this hot dog on the cooker. Of course, run that one out. Put that one on the burner. Alright, so one's a Chicago bun. So we have two Chicago buns, I believe. And then we're gonna have one. So let's go to our build station and start building giving this person the condiments that they requested. 
Okay, we have a new customer. Alright, grill station. Flip this over before you take his order. By the way, I, ha I had to be very cautious about how many, like, hot dogs in front of the grill. And I need to memorize these tickets. So I've already done two Chicago buns, so the next one to be completed is going to be put on a regular bun. So as you can see, that's almost done cooking. So this one goes on a regular bun. The next one's going to go on a regular bun. Remember that. By the way, guys, if you like me to stream one of these game, one of a file in one of these games, feel free to just ask. I'll stream this. I really like it. All right, let's just flip this hot dog over before. All right. So, by the way, the closer or always be your last customer of the day. And you may think this is a it's in a really good restaurant simulation since they don't give you so many like freaking people to like navigate. So. Alright. Alright, what the hell? Alright, pass it through. Let's see how we get graded on this. Waiting 82%. Tips, 264. Alright, that hot dog is obviously done, so we need to flip that. Oh dear. That's, um, concerning. So this one also goes on a regular bun. So we overcooked that one a little bit. But oh well. As long as you don't like superly duperly overcook it, you're fine. Oh god, I spilled. That's gonna give me a little score on building. By the way, sloppy adding of condiments. You, if you don't like that in real life, your customers are not gonna like it in this. But once again, I find this game... It's not hard hard, but it's not easy either. Like, it's not like super duper easiest thing in the whole wide world. It can be quite difficult in certain aspects. You and your low scores on waiting! God, I hate Tora. I believe that's her name. If I've pronounced that wrong... Alright, medium, medium. Once again, whatever you get a chance, just work on the hot dogs and the... Alright, so, whoosh. That's good. 93 points. 258. So, now we're back at the grill station. And we're gonna... Oh, God. I almost put... On the wrong condiments, that would have been stupid. That would have been a problem. Alright, so squishing that. Medium. Soda. Alright, flip that one on. Yeah, that Torah is just hard on waiting. It's kind of funny because I never really noticed, but I think characters, like, have a certain, like, expectancy rating. Like, once you get higher, customers will require less waiting times, so they'll start grading you lower if you take too long because they expect you as you get more experienced to be able to give them their food faster on time. Alright, let's see what Boomer is going to rate me on. Probably pretty low on weight. Pretty good, 87 points. Two dollars and twenty cents. That also get you left tips, less tips. So, 94 percent quality. That, that that's awesome. So customers 461. Wow, that's a lot. I think we're just gonna rank up here. Yep, trade cleaner. And once again, I earn 110 dollars. So now I have to save up 150 freaking dollars. To, um, you know. This game I may play twice just so I can just get, like. Clothes are nice, but I really want more. What do I. How do I do this when the game's going on? Do they have, like, practice fields that I'm allowed to use? 
The Maple Mountain Flapjacks. Interesting. So apparently we have new clothes. What do we have new clothes for? You don't have any new clothes. What the hell are you talking about, game? So we're just gonna shove this poster over the wall. Yo. Boom! Done, don't care. Let's go! We still don't have... So here we go. Come on. Load game. Load game. Load. Continue. Customer Greg. Tomato. Alright, so let's... Day four. Day four or five for this video. So, alright, let's take your order. Yeah, these days take longer than you guys think. Especially when you're the one doing it. So, of course, the first new customer you always get is going to give you the new, like, featured thing. So... Alright, new customer. Alright, give me your order as quick as you can. That's right, that's right. And we use a fizzo and a medium popcorn. Alright. I do love the sound effects in this game. The, the sound effects are really well done. I do like them. I like the sound effects not really that great, and I'm like, well, I don't care. I think they're cool. So of course, we're about all right. So regular hot dog on a bun. Flip this one over. Ah, just in time. New customer. <coughs> all right, give me thy order. Mustard, a small soda, and a small popcorn. All right. Put this one onto the grill. You know, I do these in order just so, like, I know which ones are supposed to go on regular buns and which ones aren't. So, like, I know, alright, so I don't mistake this as number one's order or anything else. So, regular bun. Alright, let's go to the build station and just throw on some ketchup. And then tomato wedges because we do not have any customers. Flip this one through. Small, all right. All right, flip this one over. Take new order. Thank you for a lot of the regular hot dog buns. Jeez. There is one game that'll go on a tangent over later. But for now, so this is number three's order. See, I like no. Regular bun. Alright, let's go turn in that guy's order. Whoa! Alright, new customer. I think our hot dog needs a flipping. Yep. Alright, last customer of the day. Yeah, they make them like. Stereotypical, I feel. Alright, so this one... Goes down here. So this is numbers... Number 5's order. So everyone are pretty much... So this is number 4's order. Alright. Set this one on. Flip this up. Put on some ketchup. And some mustard. Some ketchup and some mustard. Alright, grill station. Flip it. Flip on some... Whatever the heck this is. So medium soda, medium popcorn. Let's check on the grill station. Alright. It's not done yet. But it will be. I'm probably going to have to finish up that order before I send this one in. Yeah, see. So, luckily, all orders today were just regular buns. Oh, dear. Why'd I flip it again? Alright. 
right, so flip this one over, Tony. He is a two-star customer, of course. You, Tony! You take that too long to do your freaking order? Could've taken longer. You should make it take it longer, Tony. Because I don't know what's with these, like, kitty games and the name Tony. Like, even in Backyard Baseball, freaking Tony. I used to play a game all the time as a kid. But then I broke it. It wasn't a huge loss. It, actually, it was. I like that game. I still like it. It was like made in 2005. Apparently, I'm getting 100% on everything else. Oh, apparently, that's only the only thing I didn't know about the game, is if you leave an order sitting out, like, the soda and the popcorn sitting out, like, the soda gets, like, when the ice in the soda melts. Wait a minute, is there even an ice version, or is that going to be a thing later in the game? Once. I have played this game before, but... I think I'm like day 16? So... Yeah. Let's pick and closers order... There we go. Clover. So flip this through. Large soda. Large soda. And we're done with day four. So that's nice. Boom boom. Two dollars and forty cents. So here we go. 96 service quality. Okay, how much restroom price should be here? 472. Jeez, we're waking up fast. 115. We only have 36 to 2 in total in tips. Alright. Dark hallway, so let's keep an eye on this guy's. These two white eyes are our guy. Here you are. Alright, so we're in a small pizza table. Let's skip. Let's go to decorate lobby. And let's put in our tabletop. Yes, freshness, blah blah blah. Alright, last day of this video. Let's begin! Rita New menu item Italian sausage Day 5 Alright, let's have a great great day Alright Excuse me Alright, so she wants an Italian sausage. Different meats may take longer to cook. Watch for the time wait for the timer to reach the green area. So this is number one's order. Alright, we got another guy coming in. I think that's awesome about things that take longer to cook, more time to take orders. Hot dog with I don't know what that is, onions, cheese, and a small soda. So as you can see, we are reaching the yellow point in our cookery. So now I flip that. So number two's order. So my order goes like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Alright, there's not enough time to take orders before not only the Italian sausage is done, but the hot dog's done. So, yellow, yellow, finished, finished, alright, regular bun. Just wait till you get later in the game, people get so picky over waiting times, it gets super annoying really fast. Alright. Hot dog. Dang it, why did you pick Italian sausage? 
whatever that is, something in that. Alright, so, number three's order. Oh, we already got someone new coming in. Alrighty. Oh, it's Tora. Literally, that's, or th is it Thora? I don't even know. Her name's so confusing, I don't even know what it is. Alright, she wants a Chicago bun. So this is number four's order. Flip it. Build station, and of course, let's start putting the condiments on it. Ooh. So, next, alright, we need to check out the grill station. Oh no, why did I flip it? Flip back. And flip that. So, this is number three's order, right? Yeah. This is number three's order. So it's on a regular button. So, wait, did I flip that? Oh yeah, I did. Alright, closer's order. So, last guy of day five. Last order of day five. So, he wants potato wedges. Hurry up, dude. I got a hot dog to take off the grill. Alright, medium. So this one's on a, sh was wanted on a Chicago bun. Hot dog for you on the grill. So throw up in the medium. Well, I think the worst thing you can do is send it out with the wrong ticket. So, flip this. Ratings. 82 points. Once again, oral residents, picky freaking eaters, and I hate them. I hate picky eaters with a burning passion. Well, I'm... I shouldn't say that since I'm a pretty picky eater. But you know, it's me. It's it's them, not me. Alright. Alright. So next, throw in a small frizzo. Real station. Our hot dog should be just about done. And it's wanted on a regular... There we go. Regular bun. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. 93 points. That's pretty high rating. And I hate about how... I also hate picky waiters. I mean, seriously. The shop is owned by... Well, run by one employee. Me. And I can't do everything perfectly and get you it out immediately. I'm not... I don't have that ability. Like, I could try to speed it up, but I can't fully just whisk it out willy-nilly whenever they want it. Jesus. 96 points. Two seventy-six points. So, let's see. Let's throw on... Alright, let's just throw some onions on here real quick. Oh, Rush this order out. Alright, then it wants cheese on it. And medium soda, and then we're done. Jesus. Feels like it goes on forever sometimes. Later days do go on forever. Alright. So let's just let there drag it out. Let's see what Pinch Hitwell raises. 90 points. Wow, that's pretty high for uh, a closer who's a eater, as we all know. There we go. Day 5 complete. Let's see how much money we made that day. Uh, service quality? 92%. Don't know why the hell, because I think I did pretty good. Alright, we had 455 customer points. We have 92 tips. We still don't have enough for the hot dog alarm, but... 
Don't worry, we'll get it. Oh, Mitch's mess. I hate these kind of games. Guitar, cactus. Of course, first one's always easy. Hard shell's hot. Alright, skip. Let's see how much money we really have. 99.2. So we can't do anything yet. We're just going to flip off that hat, and then I'm going to end the video here. Oh, gosh. That was quite the beginning, and I'm really looking forward to playing more of this game, and I hope... I hope to see you guys again because I really think this game could end up being really good. I'm really looking forward to it. So, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to Brony Time for more content. And I will see you guys later. See you next. See you Friday, I guess.